Hello everyone, uh, this is Satvik Mohanty. Uh, I am a B.Tech final year uh, undergraduate in uh, Computer Science and Engineering from uh, Velour Institute of Technology. And I am here to share my placement experiences with you guys and uh, which took place in the past one year. Uh, so basically before my placement season began, I had a cumulative CGPA of uh, 8.68 uh, uh, and, uh, and currently I am in my 8th semester. So presently, I'm uh, pursuing an internship in uh, at ClearTax India uh, with an internship stipend of 45,000 uh, per month. And uh, once it gets converted, the CTC will be disclosed to us. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, like uh, as far as my uh, college days are concerned, I was part of uh, various events like in Techno VIT, one of the uh, technical fests in our uh, in our college, I was part of some coding, uh, coding, uh, normal coding competitions which were uh, taking place at that time, and also I was uh, a part of a code by gen club uh, uh, and uh, an active member uh, inside it as well, uh, which uh, took place in my second year. So uh, that's pretty much it about uh, about my uh, uh, co-curricular activities, and also uh, like basically my as far as my job role is concerned, I am a software developing uh, engineer uh, intern, and my job role is to basically uh, come up with efficient solutions uh, uh, to an existing problem, and which should basically cover all the possible test cases. So that's pretty much all about me. So as far as the selection process for ClearTax India is concerned, uh, ClearTax India came to our campus in the month of February and it shortlisted around 100 to 150 people for uh, the first round, uh, which is the coding uh, coding round. And uh, basically the questions were based on, uh, one, it, it was a single coding problem as uh, and it consisted of some 10, 10 to 15 MCQ questions. Uh, the coding question was based on uh, dynamic programming and the 10 to 15 MCQs were based on uh, data structures as well as some concepts of dynamic programming as well and which included all and also it included uh, various algorithms like sorting algorithm uh, and searching algorithms, uh, trees, graphs, heaps, uh, all, all it basically the MCQs were uh, consisted of all uh, the data structure concepts and uh, after which it was a one and a half hour test and after which uh, the results were immediately declared after an hour or so and uh, some 10, 25 to 30 people were shortlisted for the interview process and for some people it took place in the same day itself and for some it took place in uh, in the next day uh, so that's uh, that that's pretty much regarding the first round of uh, clear text. So as far as the interview process for ClearTax India is concerned, like uh, uh, for, we had basically two rounds of interviews uh, after the first technical, uh, after the first coding test and both of my interview was scheduled for the next day, uh, next subsequent day and if you clear the first interview then only you get the mail for the second uh, technical interview. Uh, so the first technical interview took place for me in the morning and basically I was uh, for the interview was mostly based on data structures and algorithms uh, where again I was asked questions regarding uh, dynamic programming, uh, sorting, searching as well as some questions regarding trees and graphs and for each question I uh, and for each concept I had to write a code for that and I had to screen share it. So basically the interviewer I, I think was uh, was keen in, and interested in uh, in uh, seeing the approach which I was using and it, it was basically they were expecting a more optimized approach from me uh, from me and I was uh, and also they were giving me hints in cases in places where I was getting stuck so the interviewer was uh, pretty much uh, very friendly as well so uh, it was uh, so it was it, it was an hour uh, long interview and after which I got the mail regarding the second technical interview uh, which took place for me in the in the evening uh, around four around four to four thirty p.m. Uh, if I'm not wrong. So again, the second technical interview was also uh, I was asked some questions regarding technical uh, some uh, core CSE concepts like uh, 
I was asked some uh, questions regarding uh, truth tables as well, some DLD questions, some questions regarding uh, uh, data structures as well, and some questions regarding SQL queries uh, also. So, and also I, in the uh, second part of the interview, I was, uh, I was also expected to give some uh, uh, questions, uh, answer some questions regarding the managerial interviews as well. Some uh, questions regarding like how will you, uh, like they were interested to do and keen to know like how, uh, if I'm a team player or not. So they were uh, mostly uh, trying to assess me based on uh, my managerial skills as well. And after the, it, it was again an hour long interview and after which the results were declared after two days. So as far as my placement strategies are concerned, uh, I began my uh, preparation for placements in the in my sixth semester itself, where uh, I asked and contacted a lot of seniors, and all of them told me you need to have a good command over uh, pro your problem solving skills, like your coding skills, and also you need to have a good and thorough knowledge of all uh, uh, core CSE concepts for clearing the technical interviews in the first round of uh, uh, technical uh, MCQs in the first round, as well as your technical interviews, which uh, will, which will be scheduled later. So uh, for uh, clearing, uh, for for the giving the uh, for uh, for my preparation for the first round, I practiced from geeks or geeks. Like uh, mostly, I practiced from the, all the company questions which were asked in previous years. Uh, like uh, some 200 to 300 questions, uh, and each uh, where each uh, where you have uh, given uh, where you are uh, provided qu some 20 to 30 questions from each topic, like from arrays, from trees, from linked lists, as well as from uh, graphs, also from dynamic programming, sorting, searching, and also from uh, uh, mapping as well. So uh, you need to uh, you you can solve all of those questions, uh, uh, which will uh, which will uh, be a great uh, a booster for you. Uh, in in the uh, in the upcoming placement season where uh, mostly i won't say the same question if not the same then mostly the similar questions will be asked uh, where you need to just apply the learned concept and just uh, you can uh, execute the code so uh, this this is as far as the first round con uh, is concerned and also you need to have a good uh, understanding of all the algorithms like uh, dynamic programming greedy algorithm uh, backtracking etc and it will be helpful for you uh, especially in the first round and also uh, in the interview process as well if you are uh, appearing for the super dream companies so uh, uh, so uh, also as far uh, as far as the core cse concepts are concerned you need to have good uh, command over uh, sql queries uh, because uh, because the two most important things as far as uh, the placement is concerned is mostly data structures and algorithms and also sql so don't go light on it also, uh, some concepts regarding DBMS, also some questions regarding uh, concepts of operating systems as well as networks. So uh, I think uh, uh, that's pretty much it. And also you need to have a good solid resume of, uh, I, I would recommend a single pager and don't put anything in your resume which, you, which, you, uh, which is not in your control uh, because the in interviewer, they take lots of, lots of interviews and they can easily identify the guy who is bluffing. So you need to have uh, you need you can have a single pager uh, uh, resume and all of and if you follow all of this uh, all of these uh, uh, tips you can uh, easily crack any super dream uh, interview as well as the first round So as far as the coding round for ClearTax was concerned, uh, like uh, uh, the code, I don't remember the question exactly, but uh, I think it was based on some prime number logic. And in order to pass all the test cases, you needed uh, you need to have uh, you needed to apply the concept of dynamic programming for passing all the test cases. And uh, uh, and after and also for uh, in case, uh, like for the technical MCQs, which were uh, some 10 to 15, I guess. Uh, you needed to have a good uh, understanding of all uh, data structure concepts like uh, stacks, queues, linked lists, trees, as well as some time complexity related problems of uh, of uh, sorting and searching. Like uh, you needed, you need to have a thorough under uh, uh, knowledge and uh, of uh, what uh, sorting algorithm uses which time complexity and space complexity. So, uh, if you are good in uh, data structure and algorithms and good in uh, uh, and uh, in learning concept, then you are good to go to clear the first round.
well if you are uh, taking part in clubs then all uh, then you will also you will learn a lot uh, because uh, the, the clubs are the provide the perfect platform uh, uh, for learning new things as well as uh, mostly similar you will be working uh, like they teach you how to work in a team and also uh, mostly the stuff which you will uh, be doing in your corporate sector whenever you will join like in your jobs or internships you need you will learn how to uh, do stuff and manage stuff uh, on your own and you will learn to work in a team so it will be an added benefit if you are uh, if you it will be definitely an added benefit if you are a part of any technical uh, club like i was part of a codo agent club uh, and also and i learned a lot uh, in that and you will uh, so uh, clubs they will uh, expose you to some, uh, somewhat uh, 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 they will expose you in like how to work in a team and how to uh, like uh, what do you expect in a corporate sector so uh, so if you are part of clubs then it is very fine uh, otherwise uh, not an issue you need to have a good in, uh, a, a good internship as well as uh, if you have a good understanding of all the uh, core subjects then it will be good to go Uh, for building a resume you need to have a single i would recommend a single page resume uh, where which includes your uh, academic performance like your uh, 10th 12th and btech as well as uh, if you have a work experience like even if one internship you have done then it is also good to go uh, you can have put uh, put that in your resume uh, and also you need to be crystal clear in what are you mentioning in your resume because uh, because the interviewers they take a lot of interviews and they can easily find uh, uh, a guy like if you are uh, if you are uh, bluffing something so you need to have a complete con command over your resume because that is the first and the most uh, uh, a uh, foremost thing uh, and you need you can put uh, some four to five or uh, uh, three to four or four to five projects uh, which you have done over uh, to of uh, over a period of 3 years of your uh, btech so uh, you need to have a complete knowledge of how your project works and how and all the, also assume all the different uh, uh, question uh, all the different sort of questioning which uh, takes place regarding projects like uh mostly they want to uh, uh know that uh, like whether it is you, you uh, have built the project or you have copied the project from someone else so you need to have a good uh, uh, uh command of all your projects which you have done over uh, the period of 3 years and also uh, if you have uh, uh, your uh, internship experience uh, will come in handy as well and also if you are uh, like uh, some uh, also you can mention your other skills like if you have if you are good in machine learning or if you are good in uh, some uh, artificial intelligence or uh, anything any core or cyber security as well you can mention it in your resume uh, but you need to be crystal clear in whatever you are mentioning in, in your resume because uh, that will that because that gives the first and the foremost impression and if something uh, if you are not able to answer something from your resume then it gives a, a pretty bad a bad impression so you need to be completely thorough with uh, what you put in your resume uh yes i would say definitely uh, soft skill uh, definitely helps in your placement because uh, the uh, mostly if you are in your first or second years you will mostly be tested uh, on your quants uh, on how you perform in uh, doing quants so uh, and your quants and reasoning as well because also in so for some of our uh, most of the companies quants also plays a essential part uh, an essential role because uh, in shortlisting criteria for the second round so if uh, if all the people have uh, ran all the codes uh, then if mostly all the people have ran all the codes and they need to shortlist a few people then they will also look at look your performance in the quants as well as your technical mcqs so uh, you need to be uh, you need to be also uh, practice side by uh, you need to also practice quant side by side uh, along with your uh, core preparation so uh, uh, yes soft skill definitely helps because uh, during a fag end uh, of your 6th uh, semester they will also conduct some mock interviews because personally it was very helpful for me because i had never gave uh, gave an interview before uh, so it was uh, so i was it was i pretty much analyzed like how it is going to be in the actual interview so if you are giving an uh, if you giving a mock interview before then uh, you really know like uh, what uh, what what is the scenario going to be or how it how, or how it, uh, the interviewer is going to ask because if you are uh, giving some mock interviews before then you will feel confident even if it is your first interview so i would say yes definitely soft skill helps but uh, mostly the uh, being a college student everyone ignores it uh, but 
uh, yes soft skill uh, will uh, help definitely help Uh, yes, the placement season for this year has been uh, excellent. Uh, I would say our, uh, above 95% uh, people have definitely been placed and also still a lot of companies are coming. So, uh, and kudos to our pad cell uh, because they have been uh, really working hard along with us because uh, and uh, in bringing so many companies because we did not expect that we will get so many chances uh, in tests as well as interviews and they have been excellent in bringing so many companies for us. So uh, we owe to them and we should uh, and we are really thankful to them uh, for bringing so many companies and providing us such a great exposure. Well, a lot of people uh, talk about CGPA in a different way. Some uh, some uh, some tell that CGPA is not essential, but I would say definitely for shortlisting, uh, if you want to get shortlisted for the first round, then you need to have uh, a good CGPA. If not nine, then eight point five uh, uh, will do, and still eight point five. Uh, you will be able to sit for the majority of the companies. Still, some companies have criteria over nine, so uh, so you 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 do not really uh, have control over it. So, but uh, yes, having a good CGPA is a is a good benefit because uh, you will be able to sit for a majority of the companies. But along with it, you need to develop good skills because uh, that's uh, that will uh, that will uh, make you uh, stand out from the rest of the category. So, you need to have a, a, a good CGPA will definitely help, and you need to. Be good in your uh, skills in whatever uh, you have learned over the period of uh, uh, three to three and a half years. Well, yes, uh, uh, I would like to give uh, many uh, like uh, personal advice for all uh, to all my juniors like. Uh, the going may be tough. Sometimes you will feel disappointed, like you you may feel like you have done enough, but you are, uh, but uh, may uh, but sometimes uh, maybe you will uh, not get selected. So don't get disheartened because a lot of companies will come. So a single company does not uh, uh, and will not decide your future. So you just need to uh, keep trying till the time you get. Uh, uh, placed uh, and also like uh, uh, if you are getting up opportunities like uh, 350 companies then definitely you are uh, getting 350 chances and you just need to uh, grab that one chance and uh, uh, and you need to and you will uh, win definitely so you so just uh, you need to uh, uh, focus on your uh, placement preparation and just believe in yourself and uh, everything will be possible thank you